feel so 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 blessed to be in this beautiful place uh, still traveling in Montenegro and this time we're staying in this lovely hotel called Astoria and it is overlooking the old town of Budva it is a really really pretty old town that maybe you've seen on the pictures before or traveled there uh, it's got some very uplifting very positive energy and I was thinking about it yesterday sitting in a cafe in the main square why is this place so amazing? Why do I feel so great here? And I'm realizing that it's all about the energy of the place. Yes, it is very beautiful, it is stunning, the nature is so picturesque, but there is something underneath it, or is something inside, like an internal vibration of this nature, which is different, different from any other places I've been to. And when I'm here, I just naturally feel so uplifted and so happy. Uh, it's like an integral part, a quality. Uh, of this nature and I was sitting in the main square and I was connecting to palm trees and I just started feeling so good so good so happy like I want to move like I'm full of life invigorated and I realized oh my god this is why uh, I love this beautiful place so much because of the energy and I could never understand why I'm so drawn to it as, as a little girl and I used to come back and dream about it and now I understand it is healing, it is essentially healing. Every stone here, every uh, centimeter, every piece of sand, you know, every water, they are healing in their nature. And when you look at them, when you really kind of disconnect a bit with, you know, with the buzz maybe, with the people, you go more into feeling the place. Then you get washed by this energy and then your energy becomes better. And that's what I've been practicing. So. Uh, yesterday I was sending a big ball of love to this place and this is just something that you can do if you want to express your love to a certain place you know we can express love to people uh, to our loved ones of course but we can also express love to places and uh, it is the same it is the same kind of love uh, why not be in love with a place why not cherish uh, and uplift the land you know with our own energy with our speech and our eyes so I'm just gonna create this beautiful bowl of love now to gift to my favorite lovely place and I'm gonna use some energy creation and channel a very pure very pretty uh, energy of love I'm gonna put all my gratitude into it my love <laughs> just really gratitude thank you for accepting me thank you for inviting me thank you for showing yourself to me in this time you've been such a blessing and you remind me of myself of the inner beauty that I have inside and of the horizons that I can reach inside. Beautiful sound. I'm going to give it now to my favorite old town.
synchronicity, <laughs> these beautiful chimes, the sound of the bells. Oh my god, I didn't expect it. It was like a unity, like I was talking, my energy was talking and the old town was also talking. So beautiful. And yes, why not express our love to places as well? Why not share our love with places? Maybe not just by the words and by the eyes as well, by the hands, you know, we can actually literally touch places with our hands and we can kiss them, we can express uh, our deep, deep, deep gratitude because they need it as well. Imagine they're standing here for so many uh, centuries <laughs> in this case and they're sharing their love with other people and so many people benefit from it. So maybe together we can hold hands and direct our love to buildings, to the houses, to the places that make us feel happy because they're being really generous aren't they, by just sharing their love with us for so many times. And uh, I feel that this is the future of us people communicating with not just each other, but openly with animals, birds, uh, lands, water, stones, air, you know, everything. Seeing beauty and life in everything, but not just mentally, but energetically, spiritually, sensing it, feeling it, knowing that there is life in every single molecule around us and looking at it and transforming it with our loving look you know gazing at it with admiration you my beautiful thing you are so gorgeous you're so special you are brilliant and then that thing that molecule in our hand begins to transform and show itself with even more vigor even more beauty and then we say oh my god it's growing same with objects same with houses when we look with love we cherish, then we invigorate it, we give it more energy so it stays strong, you know, it has more uh, energy, has more power to share even more beautiful gifts with us. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you one day visit, or you perhaps you visited already, revisit this beautiful place. Uh, it's really worth coming and uh, uh, maybe choose a time when there are less people, maybe not the season, but choose the time when uh, spring or autumn when you can come and really connect because it helps uh, less people helps to just you know uh, drift away a bit and um, connect detach a bit from the buzz and connect with the stones and with nature it's very powerful so thank you very much and I hope you're having a lovely day where you are <laughs>